This video gives an overview of pushdown optimization and in Informatica cloud data integration. If you're using Extract, Transform, Load, or ETL to extract your source data, transform it with the Informatica engine, and then load it to a cloud data warehouse, you can process your data faster with pushdown optimization. Here, instead of ETL, you use Extract, Load, Transform, or ELT, to extract your source data, load it to a cloud data warehouse using the Informatica engine, and then transform it in the cloud data warehouse. With pushdown optimization, your data processing is up to 20 times faster than traditional ETL, and there's no data egress cost since your data stays in your underlying cloud infrastructure. It's now easier than ever to change vendors because pushdown isn't hardwired with a specific cloud data store. Best of all, you don't need any coding to run pushdown optimization and cloud data integration. It's just a click away. There are three kinds of pushdown optimization for cloud data integration mappings, full, partial, and source. With full pushdown optimization, if all the transformations in a mapping are supported, the entire mapping is converted to commands on the endpoint. The connection configured for the mapping target runs the commands. For some connectors, if a transformation in a mapping is not supported, Cloud Data Integration applies partial pushdown optimization. The connection configured for the mapping source runs a select command that the source and the filter generate. Then, the Informatica engine processes the transformation that can't be processed at the source or target. If the connector doesn't support partial pushdown optimization, the Informatica engine runs the entire mapping. With source pushdown optimization, the mapping logic up to and including the expression is converted into a select command that the connection configured for the mapping source runs. The Informatica engine receives the results and writes to the target. You can configure pushdown optimization for most cloud ecosystem connectors. With ecosystem pushdown optimization, you read data from a cloud data lake, for example, Amazon S3, and use native Amazon Web Services commands to write data to a cloud data warehouse within the ecosystem, like Redshift. Then, you process the data natively in the cloud data warehouse. Keeping the data movement within the AWS ecosystem while you transform it reduces both processing time and operating costs. With data warehouse pushdown optimization, Cloud Data Integration translates the entire transformation logic into SQL statements that are executed directly in your cloud data warehouse, reducing overall processing time and operating costs. You enable pushdown optimization when you create a mapping in Cloud Data Integration and run a mapping task. You can preview pushdown optimization before you run the task. During the preview, Cloud Data Integration creates and runs a temporary pushdown preview mapping task. When the job is finished, you can view the SQL queries that the task will execute and any warnings in the pushdown optimization panel. The warning messages help you understand which transformations in the configured mapping support pushdown optimization. If pushdown optimization fails, Cloud Data Integration lists any queries that the task generated up to the point of failure. Before you run the mapping task, you can edit the mapping and fix the transformations that caused the preview optimization to fail. After the task runs, you can monitor its status on the My Jobs page. If you want to view details about the commands that Cloud Data Integration issued for the task, just download the log file. And that's it! With pushdown optimization, you don't need to write vendor-specific instructions. Whatever your cloud data warehouse or cloud data lake type, you can pick any source or target and create a mapping, as long as the source and target are compatible. And when you enable pushdown optimization and run the mapping, cloud data integration processes your data instantly. For more information, click the links in the description to view related documentation and videos, visit our communities and support hubs, or check out our website.